Hey guys, if your Windows 11 computer is stuck on the updates are underway, please keep your computer on message. Then keep watching as in this video, I'm going to show you the steps you need to take to resolve this issue. Now, realistically, a Windows update shouldn't take any longer than 30 minutes or so, but I would allow at least an hour of waiting time for this update message to correct itself. If you've literally been waiting multiple hours and it's just stuck there and not doing anything, then you will first just need to hold down the power button on your computer for a few seconds to restart the PC. So once you've restarted the computer, we need to head over to our desktop. And the first thing we're gonna do is head over to our start menu and just search for settings, then head over to the settings application. Inside of this search box on the left, we wanna search for troubleshoot, and this will bring up a drop down menu and we just need to select troubleshoot settings. Come over to other troubleshooters, and we're gonna run the Windows Update Troubleshooter by clicking this run button here. Now, this is going to scan our computer and try to identify any problems. So you just need to follow the steps on screen and check to see if that can resolve the issue. Now, some of the time you'll be able to identify an issue through here and you'll just need to carry out the steps in order to resolve the issue. However, if that's not fixed the issue for you, then what we need to do is come back over to the start menu and this time search for CMD and then right click on the command prompt and run as administrator. Inside of here, there's just a few commands that we need to type in. So the first one is going to be net space stop space w u a u s e r v and hit enter then we're going to type in net space stop space c r y p t capital s v c and hit enter then we're going to type in net space stop space b i t s and hit enter and lastly we're going to type in net space stop space m s i server and hit enter so once we've stopped all of these services from running we can close out of the command prompt window and we're next going to head over to our file explorer and we need to come inside of our c drive come all the way down inside of this windows folder and then scroll all the way down within this windows folder and you should see something called software distribution now all we're simply going to do is rename this folder. So I'm just going to rename this to software distribution old and hit enter. Now you may get a permission pop up like this. Just press continue and we've now successfully renamed this folder. So we can then close out of this folder and we need to head back over to the command prompt by coming to the start menu and searching for CMD and then right click on command prompt and run as administrator. Now we're just going to resume all of those services that we just stopped. So we now need to type in net space start space W U A U S E R V and hit enter. Then type in net space start space C R Y P T capital S V C and hit enter. Then type in net space start space B I T S and hit enter. And lastly type in net space start space M S I server and hit enter. So once we've restarted all of these processes, we can close out of this window and we can now check to see if that's fixed the updating issue. Now, if that's still not working for you, I have one final solution for you guys and that's to come back over to the start menu and once again, search for CMD, right click on the command prompt and run as administrator. This time we're gonna type in capital D I S M space slash online space slash cleanup hyphen image space slash restore health and I'll leave this in the video description so you guys can come and copy and paste this. And you'll need to press enter on your keyboard to run this command. And this is just going to check our disk health just to ensure all of our files and core Windows system files are working correctly and nothing's damaged or missing. So just wait for this process to get to 100%. So once you've ran this command successfully, the final thing we're going to type in here is SFC space slash scan now and then once again hit enter and just like before you'll need to wait for this verification to get to 100 percent and once you've ran both of those scans hopefully now that's fixed the issue if that's still not working the very last thing we can do is head over to our start menu search for settings and then tap on the settings icon come over to system from the left hand side scroll all the way down to recovery and we're going to go ahead and press reset pc now we can choose this option at the top to keep my files and this is basically going to keep all of your personal data and personal documents but it will remove any third-party applications that you've downloaded so you'll need to reinstall these apps upon completion of this reset now this is a last resort so if you've tried all of the steps and nothing else is working then i'd only recommend doing this step as a last resort so we can just go ahead and select keep my files and then you're just going to go ahead and select local reinstall and that's it guys once you've reset your windows computer that should have now fixed any updating issues if this video did help you then please consider dropping a like and subscribing until next time.